Girl stabbed in Leicester Square was Australian tourist, Ministry says. The 11-year-old girl who was stabbed in Leicester Square was an Australian tourist, the country's foreign ministry has said. The ministry said they were offering assistance to her and her mother, who was with her at the time of the attack. It comes after Yoan Pintaru, 32 years old, was charged with attempted murder and possession of a bladed article over the incident. He is accused of stabbing the girl eight times after grabbing her while she was with her mother in central London. Westminster Magistrates Court heard on Tuesday that Pintaru, a Romanian citizen of no fixed address, approached the girl, placed her into a headlock, then stabbed her eight times to the body. Prosecutor David Burns also told the court the girl suffered wounds to her face, shoulder, wrist, and neck area, and would need plastic surgery. Pintaru has been remanded in custody. He will next appear at the Old Bailey on September 10. Meanwhile, the security guard who helped disarm the alleged attacker has been honored for his bravery at the Pakistan High Commission in London. He was guest of honor at the Pakistan Independence Day event held by the commission. <coughs> Father of Spain's teenage star Lamain Yamal stabbed multiple times. The father of 17-year-old Spain footballer Lamain Yamal has reportedly been stabbed multiple times. Munir Nasrawi was taken to hospital after being attacked in a car park in Mataro, near Barcelona, Spanish newspaper La Vanguardia reported. His condition is said to be serious but stable, the newspaper said, citing official but unnamed sources. Some arrests have been made, it added, without providing further details. A later report on sports website Relivo, also citing official sources, said Mr. Nasrawi had been discharged from hospital. Local police did not immediately respond to a request for comment. Yamal, Spain's youngest ever player, was part of the 24 Euro team that beat England in the final in Berlin last month, the right winger setting up Nico Williams's opening goal. Mataro, where Yamal spent his early childhood years, celebrated following the victory, with fans lining the streets. Just minutes after his team took the trophy, Yamal was named Young Player of the Tournament. He was also the youngest ever player at a European Championship. Photographs have emerged showing Lionel Messi holding him when he was a baby. Disney star arrested at theme park over domestic incident. Former Disney Channel actress Sky Jackson has been arrested while at Universal Studios theme park, LA police have confirmed. The force said it responded to reports of an alleged domestic incident while inside the park just after 5 p.m. on Friday. Jackson, 22 years old, was arrested for domestic battery. Based on the initial investigation, it was determined Ms. Jackson was the primary aggressor and was arrested for misdemeanor spousal battery, police said. The actress was taken to a police station in West Hollywood and will appear in Van Nuys Superior Court. Representatives for Jackson have been contacted for comment. The actress became known for her role as Suri Ross in the Disney Channel series Jessie from 2011 to 2015. She reprised the role for the first three seasons of spin-off show Bunked. She is next due to star in Thriller The Man in the White Van alongside Lord of the Rings and The Goonies actor Sean Astin. <laughs> Car manufacturer accused of selling data to insurers on bad habits of drivers. General Motors is being accused of collecting data about the bad habits of drivers and selling it on to insurers. The state of Texas is suing the car company over the allegations, claiming it installed technology on more than 14 million vehicles to collect data about drivers. The lawsuit alleges GM, which manufactures brands including Chevrolet, Cadillac and Buick, sold the data to insurers and other companies without drivers' consent. 
the data was allegedly used to create driving scores to determine whether more than 1.8 million Texas drivers engaged in bad habits such as driving or braking too fast, steering too sharply into turns, not using seatbelts, and driving late at night. The data collecting technology, collected by the company's OnStar Diagnostic System, was allegedly installed on most GM vehicles starting with the 2015 model year. It is not clear whether the data was used to increase insurance premiums. Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton said the information had emerged during a probe into whether several carmakers collected and sold mass amounts of data without the knowledge of drivers. Companies are using invasive technology to violate the rights of our citizens in unthinkable ways. Our investigation revealed that General Motors has engaged in egregious business practices that violated Texans' privacy and broke the law. We will hold them accountable, he said in a statement. The lawsuit is now seeking the destruction of improperly collected data, compensation for drivers, a civil fine and other remedies. GM did not immediately respond to requests for comment. U.S. Authorities Considering Breaking Up Google The U.S. Department of Justice is considering breaking up Google, according to reports from Bloomberg, The New York Times, and others. Last week, a federal court in the U.S. ruled the tech giant had broken antitrust law by spending billions on creating an illegal monopoly and becoming the world's default search engine. The ruling is seen as the first big win for authorities taking on the dominance of big tech. The Department of Justice's other options include forcing Alphabet's Google to share data with competitors and instating measures to prevent it from gaining an unfair advantage in AI products, the report said, citing people familiar with the matter. Breaking off the Android operating system, AdWords, Google Search Ad Program, or the Chrome Web Browser are all options being discussed, according to the reports. Meta, Amazon, and Apple have all had legal action brought against them by antitrust regulators in the past four years for their domination of their markets. Microsoft had settled with the Department of Justice in 2004 on claims it forced its Internet Explorer web browser on Windows users. Google and the Department of Justice did not immediately respond to requests for comment. Katy Perry video under investigation over alleged unauthorized beach filming. Katy Perry's latest video is being investigated in Spain after unauthorized filming allegedly took place on protected sand dunes in the Balearic Islands. The Lifetime's video shows the star on the beaches of Formentera, on a boat and jumping in the sea, and partying in the clubs of nearby Ibiza. In a statement, the Spanish government said there had been alleged violations on the uninhabited islet of Cespalmater at the most northern point of Formentera by the production company behind the video. Perry has not commented on the investigation. However, the officials from the country's Ministry of Agriculture, Fisheries and Natural Environment pointed out that while a preliminary investigation is underway, they are not treating the alleged breach as an environmental crime as permission may have been granted if it had been sought. Cespelmater is a privately owned island situated in the natural park of SES Salines. It is one of the most ecologically diverse areas of Formentera, with natural mud flats and salt plains, according to local tourism sites. Authorities has contacted representatives for the singer and the production company behind the Lifetime's video for comment on the Spanish investigation.